So I've been feeling pretty stressed recently, and at 3am last night, I decided, you know what, I'm just going to go on a road trip. After googling where I could go, I decided to go to a fishing place because I love fishing and it was a pastime of mine when I was younger. And I decided to go to the Australian Rainbow Trout Farm. So as you can see, it's a very family-oriented place and it's pretty affordable to get in. It's an entry fee of $10 per person and it's got a playground and free roaming chickens that are really confident about themselves. I'm not sure why. So turns out this fishing place wasn't just a fishing place, it was a farm. And this farm sells eggs of these chickens. And these chickens are really beautiful. I mean, look at the plumage. Barbecue pits are available on the premises, which meant that after I caught my fish, I could just grill them immediately. So, with my gastronomic ambition, I decided to head down to the ponds to try my luck. So, the staff will help clean and gut your fish after you've caught it, and you cannot throw back any fish. You have to take back the fish with you. There's an Atlantic Salmon Pond, but I didn't have much luck here and I don't think anyone else did either. So I moved to the Rainbow Trout Pond. It's easier to land a catch in this pond and the waiting time is a lot less than any of the other ponds. There's also a Golden Rainbow Trout Pond, but Golden Rainbow Trout are just smaller. If you're up for something more challenging, there is a large pond here that is designed to be difficult for you to catch fish at. I didn't get the nibble, so... Mm. The first catch I got was a rainbow trout and the rainbow trout is so pretty. Look at the golden rainbow trout and the rainbow trout. They have such nice pink hues on their body. And the rainbow trout really is a fighter. Look at how much it struggles in the water. I had a lot of difficulty getting it out of the water to be honest and also uncoupling the hook. But the friendly staff here will unhook the fish for you if you ask them. So in total, I caught two rainbow trout and two golden rainbow trout. And so I headed over to the barbecue area and began preparing a golden rainbow trout for grilling. And look at that, look at that sizzle! If you're doing a barbecue immediately after catching a fish, I recommend bringing wet wipes and a barbecue grill wipe as well. Lunch was so good, the fish was awesome. Unfortunately, it was difficult to get an Uber back, so one of the staff members drove me to a bus stop so that I could get closer to civilization to finally get an Uber back from Belgrave. And I was finally on my way back and looking at a really, really nice sunset. It was 